And Stephen Tracy Burton is now behind bars here at the Piscataquis County Sheriff's Office in jail. He is awaiting his first court appearance, which should happen in the next couple of days. Now, 38 year old Burton turned himself into police here shortly before noon at the Sheriff's Office. He has, as you mentioned, been on the run for uh, since June 5th, wanted for murder and the death of his ex girlfriend, Stephanie Gibo of Parkman. He was believed to have been living in the woods the whole time. There were a couple of sightings, including one in early July. July, where Burton was shown on a home surveillance camera in Guilford. And we spoke with Jibo's father, who called this the first time he's felt true happiness in months. But when we asked him about what he thought Burton was thinking about in the moments before turning himself in, he said he doesn't think it was guilt. I think he ran out of contact, and I think he ran out of nerve. And he just turned himself in. He was a coward from day one. You know, anyone that shoots a young mother in the back is a coward. And as I mentioned, uh, he remains here behind bars, and we are expecting to see him in court in the next few days. We're not expecting to hear anything more tonight from Maine State Police or Piscataquis County Sheriff's Office. They are handing this one over to the Attorney General's Office. And by the way, this is now the longest manhunt in Maine State Police history, going close to 70 days. For now, I'm live in Dover, Foxcroft. Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.